sets that have like talk on the radio on those things, and they all like switch to be like break or something on the switch set. Put those on real quick. I can hear everything. So like Andy, you like Andy? Yeah. Like Toto? I'm gonna have some combos with you, so. You ready? Yeah. Cool. Your teeth are blue. I'm gonna take a break or something. Just hand them off to me. You guys learn any dictionary or something? Yeah. Not suck. Seconds from here to there. Kill it, kill it immediately, and then restart it. Your mother. Oh, oh! <gasps> I can hear. Wait. Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> like it worked. It was like for a second. Okay. Hello, baby. I also have congest. My ears are congested. It messes with me because then I hear myself talk and then I think I sound weird. I get all jumbled up and I worry. Okay. I'll sing. I can sing. Oh, sing. Can you get? Oh, sing. Yeah. Can you sing? Oh, yeah. Oh, sing.
second playing first, number one, Andrew Roberts. Batting third and playing shortstop, number 28, Emily Fox. Batting fourth and playing pitcher, number eight, Maddie Muir. Batting fifth and playing catcher, number 11, Bailey Baker. Batting sixth and playing center field, number 10, Zoe Stein. Batting seventh and playing second, number 17, Gabby Reed. Batting eighth and playing left field, number 12, Ryan Ingalls. Batting ninth and playing right field, number 20, Clarissa Guzman. The reserve players are number three, Lily Barnes. Number seven, Addison Davis. Number 14, Ava Valentine. Number 18, Lizzie Galloway. The head coach is Laura Wibbs and is assisted by Frank Arthurs and Amanda Ballard. And now for your Lady Pirates. Leading off and playing right field, number three, Presley Carnes. Batting second, playing left field, number six, Anna Defoe. Batting third, playing shortstop, number seven, Carly Carlton. Batting fourth, and playing catcher, number 14, Carmen Williams. Batting fifth, and playing third base, number 17, Rachel Venable. Batting sixth, and the designated player, number 10, Morgan Johnson. Batting seventh, and pitching, number five, Allie Defoe. Batting eighth, and playing first base, number nine, Abby Stone. Alrighty. How we doing? Good. I would like to welcome everybody to the uh, game of the Granberry Pirates and our Saginaw Rough Riders. Big game tonight, isn't it? Yeah. How important is this game? First of all, I'd like to introduce my guest, Harley Price, Miss Georgia Hausler. How important, Harley, is this game tonight against the Rough Riders? It's really important. Um, it's the senior night. So what's on the line tonight? So if we win tonight, where's that going to end us up? 
Um, you know, that's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah. Okay. Well, currently we're fourth place with yep. a win tonight. We'll go on for our next game, which is against Toledo on the 19th. That's yep. this week. And uh, hopefully further. Yep. The foe warming up on the mound. They huddle together. That, that's cute. I love doing that. Huddling together. Team spirit. Yeah. All right. All right. Rough Riders up the bat, number two. Bam. On senior night. Yep. Three seniors. Three <laughs> seniors. Brenna Haynes, Allison Defoe, and Abby Stone are three seniors tonight. First pitch. Strike. Right down the gut. That was a pretty good pitch. It's a great pitch. So he's actually going to UMHB. Ooh, right? Yep. Signed with University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Mm -hmm. Belton, Texas to continue the second pitch. A swing and a miss. Great pitch. He's back in the box now. Too far, babe. Ball. A little Too high, high on that one. Too high. Just getting warmed up. Mm -hmm. First batter. So. Good crowd tonight. Yep. Up. Hit. Foul ball. Foul ball. Hit the ground. Good effort there by Pirates. Abby and Meredith went out to go get it, but was unable to catch it. Two strikes, no balls. Tell me about these wristbands that they're always referencing. Nice hit. Out at third. Line drive to third base. Rachel Venables, freshman, caught it. What about out. that catch right there? That was Ooh. quick decision, right? Yes. It's quick thinking. So tell us about these wristbands. So the front page is for pitching. So Kay. it it's for the catcher and pitcher. But it gives the out the infield and everybody a sense of where it might be hit to. Second so. batter, first pitch, ball. Just a little high on that one. Yep. Ooh. Yep, she went for it. That is a strike. One ball. One strike, one out. Allie coming out strong. Hey baby girl. Hey baby girl. Up, up, yep. up. Hit. Find it, Bryn. Bryn center field caught it. Great out. Two outs, one more to get. Get our third batter out. Right here, Al. It's so good. We got nobody on. Two outs. Up, Hit up. 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 Caught by Brenna for the third out. Three up, three down, Lady Pirates. Hoping our Lady Pirates come out strong. Got replay screen going right now. Great pitch. Strong hit. Right center field. 
and an amazing catch. It was a great reach. Great reach by Our Lady Fire. Good crowd tonight at the game. It's kind of warm, perfect sunny weather, no wind. It's a good day for softball. You are streaming us tonight on Pirate Production Studio. Make sure you uh, notify a friend. Send them the link. Log in and enjoy this game of our Fighting Lady Pirates. Very important one tonight on Senior Night. Again, celebrating our seniors. Brenna Hayes, Allie Defoe, and Abby Stone tonight. First up to bat is going to be Presley Parnes. What are some of her stats? She has a batting average of .243 with nine hits. That's great. That's really good. She's stolen five bases. And a freshman at that. A freshman. And thank you for tuning in to Pirate Production Studio. Of course. Got Miss Harley and Georgia assisting us today. Saginaw on the mound. Presley Carnes. First pitch, strike inside. Presley bunt. lays down the bunt. Out at first. Good hustle to first. Just not fast enough. Great hustle. Great hustle. Hey, Harley, tell me how hard is it as a batter when you get in that box with a pitcher that you may not have gone in front of before? What are, what are the most things you're looking for? Uh, mainly just um, like, like if you haven't played her before, just be ready for anything. Um, inside, outside. First pitch, Hannah hit. Hannah. And Hannah is safe. Safe at first. Hannah dug in and ran fast as she could through first. First baseman fielded that ball, just couldn't get there fast enough. Carly Joe Carlton up next for our Pirates. Runner on first. Go, CJ, let's go, babe. First pitch of ball. Hannah Defoe on first has 15 stolen bases. Mm. Let's see if she gets a 16 tonight. Second pitch strike. It is 1 1. Hannah likes getting those leadoffs, doesn't she? Yep. Loves intimidating catcher. Is that really getting the pitcher's head quite a bit? Well, if she's a good catcher, then. Or a good pitcher. Okay, bad pitch. Drop ball. 16 for Hannah. 16 stolen bases for Hannah. Counts two balls, one strike. Carly Joe with the in the box. Carly Joe hits a shortstop, caught, and out. Good solid hit. 
Good thinking for Hannah, tagging up. Come on up to the plate, it's catcher Carmen Williams. With batting average of .313. That is very good average. That's great. Let's see if she can get her, get her another dinger tonight. Two outs. She can hit it over. Runner on second. First pitch, hit, up. called left field. Caught for the third out. It is now 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, as we do the field change right now, Lady Pirates having a quick huddle. Or taking the field, three up, three down, hopefully. Still at zero to zero. Top of the second. Got Miss Georgia Hausler helping me out now. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Georgia? I'm doing very well today. Today is a good day. It's a great day. Hey, tell tell the listeners what position you're playing right now. I am a JV. left fielder on JV. Awesome. How long have you been playing softball? I've been playing since I was in kid pitch, actually. Started first year kid pitch and just been on a roll since then. Awesome. Knowing, we, knowing that we've got three of our seniors this year, that would be a uh, – Brenna, we've got Hannah and Abby that'll be uh, leaving us this year. We've got some good prospects coming up from JV. Yes, we do. Got Excellent. a lot of got a lot of good girls. Got a lot of good opportunities. Excellent. Yes, a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Very sad about the three that are leaving us, but they're moving on to bigger and better things. Absolutely, they've been some excellent mentors. Yes, all of us on JV have learned a lot from all three of those girls. All right. Leading off with a set in the second inning, number eight, Maddie Moores. Got Allie on the mound. pitch that is a strike Allie bombs it in there looking real strong isn't she yes she's got a very good arm second pitch hey, hit. Up, up. Be smart. caught by Be Meredith smart. playing second for the first out Easy play right there. Very smart baseball by our lady. All right, so now batting for the Rough Riders, the catcher number 11, Bailey Baker. Little fun fact. Uh, I think we are less than 25 strikeouts away from Miss Allie Defoe hitting that 500 count. So good luck, Allie. Yes, that is a very big milestone. Absolutely. Second batter, one out. Oh, and it is a strike. Oh, not a strike. Strike by the other umpire. Absolutely. At first. Second that is pitch. A top pitch. Foul ball. No balls, two strikes now. One out, no one on base. <coughs> Got her swinging. Swinging a miss for the third out. Two outs out there right now. One more to go. Third strike. Apologies. Now 
thing and again you know what you're saying. Now we're getting the calls from the side. First pitch, just a little outside, ball. Tell me how difficult it is with different pitches in softball. It's crazy because they'll be pitching you real fast, real accurate balls one moment, and then they'll give you a change up that's so slow and it'll get you. Second pitch strike. Yeah, it seems that Allie has quite a bit in her arsenal of pitches. Yeah, she's got great rotation. Strike number two. What would you say that her uh, most nastiest, hard to hit pitch might be? Her changeup is. That is a crazy change. It's dirty. Okay. Ball called. Count is two and two. Two outs, nobody on base. Full count. Just a little bit on the outside. And that is Allie's first walk of the night, was just right outside of the strike zone. Caught it just a little bit high, I think. Now batting for the left batter, second base Two outs, base runner base on Debbie first. Three. All right, ladies, be smart. You got runner one. Strike. Swing and a miss. Hardly. Hartley's caught behind Alley before, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Ooh, second pitch. Strike. Beautiful pitch, babe. Alley, Alley has quite a bit of speed on her pitches. Yes, that she does. She is very quick. Very accurate. <coughs> no balls, two strikes. And strike three on the swing and miss. Three up, three down. That is great for Allie going into her freshman year of college. She's come such a far away. Yeah, it's awesome. Varsity, all four years of high school. So, talking about Allie on the mound, you have caught Harley for Allie multiple times. Um, you find her. Explain how she pitches to you from a catcher's perspective. Um, well, she's not all over the place. So she's like really easy to frame. And um, if I need to stand up, it's not like jumping and stuff. So she's a great pitcher. Pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really consistent. That's what's been noted. Fast and accurate. Absolutely. Talking to her father, um, multiple games, you know, that's not something that just comes about overnight. It takes yeah. a lot of hard work. What type of work? You know, last last game that we had um, against Northwest was uh, we had the little Granbury Athletic Association kiddos that were out here. Does it start at that age? Is that when you need to really be focused on what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Excellent. Coming up to the plate is Rachel Venables. She is a freshman with 
19 hits, batting average of .528. What that a great number. Greatest. Leading off for the Lady Pirates, number 17, Rachel Venable. She's leading the stats currently yes, for our Lady is. Pirates. First pitch strike. She told me she's trying to beat her sister's uh, record of home runs, which is about 20. Wow. Yeah. Second pitch, hit. Pop fly. Out of right field. Caught. Caught. One out. Number 10, Morgan Johnson. Batting average of .323. First pitch, fouled off. Straighten that one up. That's going to go a pretty good way. Probably. Ball. You gotta wait on it a little longer. That change. Getting it dialed in there. She has two strikes. Foul ball. Getting a piece of everything. Ball, two strikes. Another foul ball. If she just straightens those fouls out, we're going to be in really good shape. Yes, and this pitcher is pretty slow, so we got to wait on it, wait for the right time, then crank it. Just like that. Right over second base. Double. Or er, single. Right fielder tried to throw her out at first. Just wasn't fast enough. Great hit to start off our Lady Pirates. We got one out. Runner on one. Now up to bat is senior Allison Defoe. Absolutely. Let's see if she can end her home game with a good hit. Tries to lay down a bunt, but doesn't get it. District 5A, co-pitcher of the year, 2022. Second team all district in 23. Morgan advances the second, but unfortunately for Allie, she did not pull back in time to the bunt. No balls, two strikes. It was a really low pitch too, right? Swings. That's a fair. Lands fair. Fair ball. She's right field fair. Turning two, going three. Yeah, that is a that triple around. for Alley. Excellent hitting. Making an run. RBI. It's excellent. Bringing Morgan in home. That'll help that average out. Yep. Pirates are on the board. Now to the plate, number nine. 
senior Abby Stone first base. Congrats to that. Let's see if she can bring Abby home. First pitch of the ball. Hit through the first baseman. And we got a safe call. Single, bringing Allison Defoe home. Lady Pirates two on the board. One out. Up the bat. It's the top Senior of the momentum that we need, right? Brenna Haynes. Brenna Haynes. Come on up. Get a male's conference. Do we know where Brenna's uh, heading after this year? Uh, I'm not sure. Not um, sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Pitch a ball. Outside. Got Abby on first. What a hit with a wild pitch to first. Brenna gets her a double. Uh, B's unfortunately out at two. So we got two outs to run our own second right now. Back to the top of the lineup with Presley Carnes. Our freshman. She's one of our freshmen. Mm -hmm. Hits it, pop. Ooh. Foul ball. Good effort by the Saginaw Rough Riders. We've seen multiple balls go foul that way. What does that mean as a batter that you need to do? Um, just watch it, hit it at the right spot. Does that usually mean that you are swinging ahead of or behind, or? It means, yeah, it means you're behind. Behind, you need to speed it up a little bit. Yes. Ball outside. <laughs> we have Brenna Haynes on two. Third out. Call for a third out. That'll bring us up the top of the third. Lady Pirates two, Rough Riders zero. Got a replay here. Strong hit. Just right to the shortstop. Lady 
Empire fans, we'd like to take this moment to recognize our student fan of the night. And tonight's student fan of the game is Mr. Bryce Young. Congratulations, Bryce, our student fan of the game. Georgia joining us now. A little pirate softball. Top of the third to throw on the mound. First pitch right down it. Strike. Second pitch is a ball. We just love our pirate fans cheering for us out in the stage or out in the stands. How important is that when y'all are playing? That is. Y'all feed off that quite a bit. Yes, absolutely. I, we hear all the cheers, and it just it makes it helps us power through. Count us two balls, one strike. That one just a little bit out. That's a swing and a miss, two swing strikes. Allie really looking strong right now. I cannot imagine the pressure that it must take for a pitcher on that mound. Yeah, Lord knows I couldn't do it. Why do you think they got me out in the outfield? <laughs> Counts three balls, two strike. That one just a little bit high for the ump. We'll call it a strike. Goes right down the middle. And that is a pop, and it is foul. Foul ball. That one may have taken out a windshield. That's why you don't park so close in the parking spots right here at the stadium your new windshield. Don't ask me how I know Georgia. <laughs> but I've had a few cars hit. I bet so. These balls flying everywhere. The throw on the mound. 3-2 count. Just a little on the inside for a walk. That is the second walk of the now night. Now for the rough battle with the right fielder, number 20, Carissa Guzman. Batter leaned in for a bunt, and it was two outsides, leaned all the way in. Strike. Saginaw's got a runner on first. <coughs> Swing and a miss, that is strike two. the ball. Saginaw took a swing at it but did not cross the plate. Counts one ball, two strikes. 
no outs, runner on first. Strike right across the middle for an out. That was a strike looking. One out, runner at first. Oh my pineapples, that was a strike. It's a great pitch. <laughs> Swing for a foul, two strikes. Saginaw has a runner on first, one out. Just a little bit on the outside on that one. One ball, two strikes. That is up. Foul. Got a lot of fouls on that side of the field tonight. Presley Carnes runs for it, but it is too close to the fence. She cannot get there. Good effort. Would have been an ESPN play if she'd have caught that. Yes, sir, it would have. One ball, two strikes. Both Swing for a strike. Swing and out. Lady Pirates got two outs. Saginaw has a runner on first. Now batting for Saginaw, number one, Ansley Watt. Still got that runner on first. And that is all the way up to Allie Defoe in left field and it is caught for the third out. Hannah Defoe in left field. Pirates looking strong. Let's come back and get some more hits on the board right now. Lady Pirates two, Saginaw Rough Riders zero. Bottom of the third. What's up, brothers? Special teams, special plays, special players. We are Welcome now. Welcome back, my assistant here tonight, Harley Price. How are we doing, Harley? Um, pretty good. We're bottom of the third. It is 2-0. Grand Rapids Pirates are up. Pirates looking pretty strong right now. Keeping up the momentum. Very confident, very confident. Second all same pitcher on the mound. Stepping up to the plate is Hannah Defoe, sister of senior Allison Defoe. That's yeah, a mild 85 degrees. Lady Park Hill. Three mile an hour wind. 
Beautiful day for softball. All right. So tell me about this uh, dynamic duo called the Defoes. Yeah, sisters. Love a, love a good sister. It's pretty good. Softball. It's pretty rare, too. Yeah. Hannah Alecki. First pitch is a ball. 2-0. Thankfully, she backed up in time. She didn't got hit. Two balls, no strike. <coughs> got a piece of that pitch. Foul ball. And two balls, one strike. It always gets me when Hannah does her practice swings and the bat hits her in the back on her back yeah. swing. Yeah. Does that not hurt? No. Okay. Nope. Ball. It is now 3 1. One strike. Nobody's on, nobody's out. Base hit to the pitcher, out at first. Got Miss Carly Joe Carlton coming up to the plate now. Yeah. Now to the plate for the number seven, Carly Carlton. She is the only player who has been hit by a pitch. Let's hope it stays that way. Ball outside. Carly's due for a good hit. Let's hope she gets one. Yeah. And a hit and foul. Almost a catch by one of our fans in the VIP section. Another foul ball. Getting a piece of it. Get behind, babe. Get behind. Just needs to speed that swing up a little bit. Watch it, babe. No balls, two strikes, one out. She has to battle. We watch the change. No foul. Strikes on the board. And she finds it, pops out. Ah. Good hit, good hustle. Caught by Saginaw right fielder. Come up to that, it's Carmen Williams. She's definitely a power hitter. She's also going to UMHB with Allison the really? next year. Yep. That's great. She's only a junior though, so. As a catcher, I'm it. sure you spend a lot of time with her. Yes, we have a great bond. First ball. Ball inside. Nobody's on, we have two outs. Ball hit right down the middle. Right down the gut. For a right single. There. Great solid hit. 
Rachel Venable coming up to the plate. She's the yellow cross player. She's also a power hitter. Rachel Venable carrying the best average currently hitting for the team, correct? Yes, 19 hits. See if she can bring Carmen on around. Pitch in the dirt. Can't go over that. Ball one, no strikes. Pirate runner on the first. That one just a little on the outside. Two of two outs. Carmen on first. Foul ball. one Three. bounces to third to the out ends the inning no runs <laughs> lady parts two Saginaw rough riders zero Welcome back, Georgia. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, very good. Hey, Georgia is one of our all-star up-and-comer varsity players at some point. Tell us why you got into softball and what you like about it. Oh, that is a very easy question. I got into softball because my older sisters played, and they were my biggest inspiration growing up. I also copied them in, vo in volleyball, too. Awesome. Where are they at now? Uh, my oldest sister is in college in Wichita, and my older sister is in high school back in Millsap. Awesome. So it's a family tradition. Yes, Ball. sir. Cool. Have my younger sister, Neva, playing too. How old is your younger sister? She is about 10 years old. She's been playing since she was around 8. I'm sure you teach her all kinds of stuff on a regular basis try she don't listen <laughs> <laughs> so what all positions have you all start in this year for JV this year I've played all in the outfield and recently I have played in shortstop awesome which which position do you feel is that you like the most I love left left is my baby girl she is That's my favorite area. position yes okay Fourth inning for the Rough Riders of Saginaw, number 28, the shortstop. All Ellie right. Hawks. Top of the fourth. Got Ellie Defoe on the mound. First pitch hit, left field. It's up. And Carly Joe Carlton catches it for. Lady Park's first out. What a great play. First pitch to Allie's making it quick. The pitcher number eight, Maddie Porch. Yeah, I guess that's real important to make sure that they don't get exhausted on their arms and their pitch counts. So what's 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 normal <coughs> for pitch count numbers for pitchers like Allie? What do you mean? Like how many can a can a pitcher normally throw before they get tired? It's usually based off innings. Kay. I haven't talked to Allie about that yet. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say usually based off innings. Second, second, all bat batter, first pitch, strike down the middle. 
Someone can pitch all game, actually. Allie is usually our oh, pitcher full time. Second pitch. Call the ball just a little bit high for our umpire is watching. Her little sister Hannah also pitches too. She steps in sometimes. Strong hit, Sagnall. And that is over the fence for a first home run. Single home run, Saginaw. Will bring us to Lady Pirates two, Saginaw Rough Riders one, with one out. Top of the fourth. Foe smiling big on the mound, having a good time tonight. One out. That is a strike. All day long. And most of the time, whenever batters hit home runs, that could get in the pitcher's head. So we got Allie pretty chill right now. It's clear she's a pro. That was Second hit right hit. into the gap. Right into the outfield left side gap. Picked up by center field Brenna. Now batting for the Rough Riders is center fielder number 10, Zoe. Sims. One out runner on first. And with those hits like that, it's really important for Allie to stay level headed. That way, it keeps the game going smooth. Right. You can tell she's a pro at it. And the pitcher staying level headed. That keeps defense. That's it. That keeps the defense the cohesive riders, seven, and everyone's level-headed. How important is that communication between catcher and the pitcher in those situations like that? That's extremely important. Yeah. Like, you gotta Eat have that. Other. Gotta have that mindset, that equal energy coming off. Absolutely. Pitch just a little high for a ball. Runner on first. And foul. First also strike. bouncing off that. Allie can't really pitch well if she doesn't know her defense has her back. So defense being good, she's good. Got everyone on the same level. It's a mental game, right? Yes, sir. She's got two strikes on this batter. One out. Runner at first. As a rise for <coughs> one ball. Two strikes. My bad, they have changed that to two balls, one strike, one out. That would be a count of two and two now with that strike ball right over the plate. Yeah, it appears that Allie's just real cool, calm, and collected on that mound. Got Carm right there staring down first base runner, making sure she stays on that bag. Counts full. And got her swinging. Carm's got to be ready for that throw down with that runner on first. Got to be watching. And the Pirates 
Two out. One more out to go for our Lady Pirates. Oh, the, the throw is made and the batter is safe on first. What a great throw from Carmen. Flake at first. Yes, she got to be really quick on her feet. Got to get the ball there as fast as she can. It was always getting me real stressful because a minor issue could go past, but playing great tonight. Yes, when Carmen's confident in her throws, I'm confident. Keeps me cool in the stands, too. Two balls. That one just a little bit low. Counts three balls, no strikes. Two outs. Strike all day. Beautiful pitch right there. Right down the middle, she would have got me. She's got some heat behind that pitch right there. Ooh, and we'll take one another one as well. That one had a pretty little spin on it. Full count. Runner at first, two outs. Just a little bit on the outside for a walk. Got runners on two and one now. Come out of the box with a hard strike. Very pretty around the inside. Ooh, pop up right. And out. That would be Hannah Defoe, right? Yes, sir. Hannah Defoe, left field for that third out. Just joining us. We are at the bottom of the fourth. Got our Lady Pirates two, Saginaw Rough Riders one. Pirates at the bat now. After that home run, it is good to not get that to your head. It's good to keep up the energy and make sure that you get the next one. If you're just tuning in, we're at the bottom of the fourth. Thank you for tuning in to Pirate Production Studios. Live broadcast, Lady Pirates against the Saginaw Rough Riders in a very important game. Seated in fourth spot now. With a win tonight, it's really guarantee a playoff slot. So, uh, Harley, how are you? I'm okay. Hey, talk to us a little bit about our next game that we've got coming. I know we're focused on Saginaw, but we've got a Lido coming up on the 19th. We lost this year to 11-0 uh, to Lido at home. Uh, but Lido's our first seed, right? Or they're, are they ranked first currently, correct? First, yes. Okay. Right. So it's not a good uh, rehearsal for that upcoming game. Yeah. And the first time Ali has ever pitched with Granberry, they beat Lido. That's how they knew that she was forever Excellent. their pitcher. 
cards off the bat. Leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Lady Pines, number 10, Morgan Johnson. We've got Morgan Johnson leading us off. Bottom of the fourth. She liked that first pitch. Fouled it off. Got a little piece of that one. That one's a little bit close on the inside. Called for second strike. Close, but disagree with it. And a big pitch for a hit. To third for the out. That's good hustle. Right. One out. That's about Allison Defoe. Let's see if Allie can. Get us another hit run. I like that her little table up there. She had like seven home runs. It's amazing. So. First pitch foul. So in your ba in your softball career, have you have you gotten close or hit you a home run yet? I have. I have. Freshman year last year, I hit it over. That's awesome. You still got that ball? I do. Cool. I do. Yep. It was sure April 11th. You, you'll have you quite a few. Second yeah. pitch. Foul. That's a foul. Second, I'll try and hard to get that one. Just not fast enough. Counts no balls. Two strikes. One out. Seems that we got a battle here. And Too low. Can't get lower than that. <coughs> Pitch outside. Good eye by Ellie. Counts two and two. Still the one out. Allie's <laughs> battling well. Full count. Nobody's on. One out. So she's really got to battle right here. Win it for herself. That's right. It's her senior night. Solid hit through the gap. Went right past second to the single. It's a solid hit. It's got to be a real motivation boost for her as a pitcher coming off getting a good hit. Senior Abby Stone up to plate. She's hit a home run this year, too. Good eye. Ball outside. Got the foe on first. One out. Abby got Bounce a nice hit. Short. Abby got a nice hit. The foe slid into second and is safe. Got runners at first and second. One out with Brenna Hayes at the plate. Also senior. Hart's in a really good position right now with our base runners. That's a good eye for Brenna. Ball high. One ball, no strike. One out. Strike. She's seen it now. And 
that hits it pop. Caught by right shoulder. Defoe tagging up. Makes it the third. That was a good play by Allie. Back to the top of the lineup with Presley Carnes. Freshman Presley Carnes. Now up the right fielder, number three, Presley Carnes. Two outs. Runner at first and third for our Lady Pirates. Porter. First right hit. Second. All Hits the, the way fence. to the fence. Rounding two. Great Going hit. three. That is a triple Ooh. for the freshman. Presley Carr. Two run. It's a what two a great run hit. RBI. That'll, that'll improve your stats right there pretty quickly. That would be four on the board for Lady Pirates. One for Saginaw. Two outs. Presley on third. We have a pitching change, do we? Or do not? Saginaw having a meeting at the mound. With Hannah on standby at the plate. If you're tuning in, thank you for tuning in. If you're not tuning in, you wouldn't be hearing us. So for those of y'all tuning in, send the link of Pirate Production Studios for tonight's game of our Lady Pirates and Saginaw Rough Riders to your friends so they can tune in to Senior Night in a very important game. Right, Hannah Defoe, our lefty. Two outs, runner on third. All right, Hannah takes a swing and throw it out first at is out. That's going to end the inning. Going in top of the fifth. Sussing and bussing. Get our Lady Pirates four, Saginaw Rough Riders one. an additional special special guest from our JV's team right here joining us for a little bit We've got Sophie Sophie Alderson so uh, let's see here uh, you're Sophie can you hear me? yes sir awesome hey what position are you playing right now for us with JV um, at the moment I am switching between shortstop and pitcher because me and our uh, center fielder and also backup pitcher, Zyra, number two, is our additional pitcher, and we're switching in between that, just trying to find our right rhythm, see who's doing better in the game. Awesome. What grade are you in, Sophie? I'm in 10th. 10th grader. Okay, cool. Um, so tell me about what you think about the game so far tonight. So far, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, Allie's been pitching pretty good. She's real close to her 500. She is. I'm real proud of her. It's going to be a sad, sad year without her next year. She's off to do bigger and greater things. Yes, she is. She'll always be a pirate at heart. Mm -hmm. Allie's still on the mound. Top of the fifth. Lady Pirates four. Second all, one. First pitch is a ball, too low. Got Allie wiping a little bit of sweat. It's a little bit warm out here today. <coughs> All right. 
pitch number two for a strike. One ball, one strike. It is quite toasty out here. It's a beautiful day for softball. Yes, sir. Good pitch, fouled off. Strike two. So Sophie, how long have you been playing softball? I've been playing since I was five. Since five? Okay. Did you have somebody that that you watched play softball that got you into the sport? Um, I didn't really watch anyone, but my strike three. One out. Um, but my mom and my papa got me into softball. That's great. What's the what's the favorite thing about the sport for you? Probably just the motivation it gives me. It's very it it's a very mental s sport, and I think that's what keeps me going in it's it. It's challenging. Yeah. 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 I've got a good team too, so yeah. future's bright for the Pirates. Yes, it is. Batter number two. It's a strike. Right across that plate. One out, no one on, one strike. Second off for a bunt. Called safe, play made by Rachel. Yeah, Rachel made a good effort at throwing that down there. She really fired it into first play, or first base. Second off, had, a little, had some jets on those shoes. But so do we, not to, not to worry. Got one out, runner on first. Fouled off. That runner was going from first to second, so dead ball. Runner at one, one out, one strike. Carmen is ready for that throw down. Got a hit. Pitch to second base. That ball was dropped. Runner safe. Runner at one and two. Three is hot. Time for the Lady Pirates to get some outs. That's right. A good double play here would be amazing, right? Perfect timing. The throw. Pitch hit center field, runner from Saginaw going Come around on. the third, pitch to the home, and called safe. Tag called safe at home plate. So close, so close. Throw in all the way from center field from Brenna. What a great throw. With an effort made by Carmen, it was still called safe. Carmen came around. Very disappointing, but got the replay cam right now you can see this replay that's coming in great throw look at this throw right here Carmen catches that ball called safe Looked like a hand may have gotten in there they're gonna meet up the mound for a little chit chat just to replay regroup. cam today is sponsored by Danny Gidry's stopwatch thank you mr. Gidry Pirate, Lady Pirates having a meeting at the mound. Hey, so tell me about this meeting at the mound. It's like pretty important, right? Yeah, it's pretty important just to regroup and okay. just to calm everyone down after a little bit of a iffy play maybe just to get everyone centered back into the game and get everyone regrouped into getting outs again. Right. 
looking for the next play, not the past one, right? Yes. Good. It's Allie's good to focus on the next. Masterful at that, it yeah. seems. Allie and Carmen are both good at keeping yeah. their heads level and motivating the team to go forward. We've got Lady Pirates four. We got Sagnall two runs on the board, one out. We've got runners at one and two. Foul ball. We'll take that as a strike one. It's a good looking pitch. Allie's got a great spin on her. He's got a nasty slider. Uh, is that what you call slider? Yeah. Allie's got a rotation like no other. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, strike two. Runner still at first and second. There's Top that the change up we were talking about right there. It's nasty. You can't hit it. Close to impossible. And a little, a little high ball. Runner still at one and two. On a beautiful sunset here in Granbury, Texas. Lady Pirates baseball on Pirate Production Studios. Got one ball, two strikes, and one out on the board. And fouled up. Catch off the back net by Carmen. Great effort. She's quick with it. One ball, two strikes. One out. Runners at one and two. It's up, foul, ball. Almost hitting our camera. That would have been an expensive foul. Yes, it would have. Count still one ball, two strikes. Runners at one and two. Three is still hot. If it comes foul to us, ladies, I'll probably try to catch it with my hand. I don't know. Those quick reflexes. I think so. Yeah. You know, all those muscles. Help him get an out. And there's a pitch and a hit to caught right by field caught. Caught by Presley Carnes. Presley really fired it into third base as well. Hitting that runner on the way. Hitting Saginaw that was sitting there at third base. Slide and catch. It's a great throw. Look at that accuracy. You can't get more accurate than that throw. She is. Little slow reaction that Saginaw runner would have tried to come around, but not on her dime. That is an ESPN type of play. Absolutely. Can't wait to see that replay. Two outs. Very beautiful. With the bow pitching. And we've got Up a to hit center field. Center field. And Caught by Brenna Haynes. What a great catch by Brenna there. That's third out. Throughout. Ending the top of the fifth. End of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, Lady Pirates getting ready to hit. Thank you for tuning in. If you've got friends not watching this broadcast, they need to be. You need to send them the link to Pirate Production Studio with yep. yours truly, Ryan Payne, Georgia, Harley, and Sophia, all of our JVR All Stars dedicating their time tonight. Yes. Temperature is dropping. We've got a beautiful sunset here in Granbury, Texas. Very Dropped from the mid 80s to 76. We've got light wind of about three miles an hour. It's a great night for softball. And if you're not watching it, you need to be. Lady Pirates four, Saginaw two. My favorite type of softball game is playing under the lights. And the lights come on. It's like your adrenaline gets higher, and you're just, you're not tired, you're just, you're ready to play. Go time. Yes. You know, got a little bit worried this morning, Harley. It was 
raining so badly, I was like, oh no, do not cancel this game. But it, yes. amazingly, it doesn't even look like the field is wet. Is there a reason why? Well, the, once the sun came back up, uh, dried up the field real quick. It's a good answer. Y'all usually cover the infield um, with the mats or tarps and such? Yes, usually we do, but <coughs> we didn't have to do that today. Good. Um, wasn't really 100% sure if we needed to the day before. This field looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh, Shout out to Granberry ISD maintenance crew for having our field so immaculate for this great game. Got Carly Carlton coming up to the plate. Boy, she's been hot this season, has she not? Oh, she has. She's great hits, great bunts, all of the greatness. And what a great student, too. She's one of mine, and she's an amazing student. Ooh, Saginaw pitcher lost that. Rolled backwards on that one. A little high. What is that classified? Uh, that's uh, that's the ball. It should I be a ball. It should be a ball. It should be a ball. Okay. It was released from her it hand. It was released. Ball. I don't know that I've seen that. One ball. I have. Okay. Strike. One one. Pirate dugout really getting live right now, trying to motivate the batter. Carly Joe hit up. up. Caught by first. CJ for a really good effort right there. Lady Pirates got one out on him. Coming up to the back plate is Carmen Williams. The Carmen Williams. The Carmen Williams. Williams. All-star catcher. Who before tonight's game has an average of point three one three hitting the average. The third best batting average. It's amazing. I think my batting average, Harley, is zero. I don't know what mine would be. First ball. It is one oh, one out. Ooh, that would be a hit. Carmen Williams has been hit by the pitch. She took that one like a champ, did she not? Yes. Pitch looked really sus coming in, hit it right in the back. But she is, she's been hit in the head before. I watched it happen. Tournament. Just thankful for helmets, right? Still hurts mm -hmm. though, right? It got still to. Hurts. All right, we got a Runner on first, one out. Rachel Venables. Harvest. Got catcher drop ball, throw on a second. Feels like it's safe. Farming on second. How important are these base running skills? Um, you really have to, you have to look where the ball is going to be so that you can't. Beautiful tap. That you know that you're going to be safe. Foul ball. Foul ball. Power Production Studio capturing a beautiful Granberry, Texas sunset. Just look at that painting of colors in the sky. That is definitely. Would make a Bob Ross happy. Very happy clouds. All right. Got a pitch scout by the catcher right there. Got Carmen that was able to get to third. The advance to third. Come on, Two balls, one strike, one out. Runner on third.
base hit right all the way the to middle. that one. Single RBI bring Carmen home. Lady Pirates add one more to the board. Five to two. Looks like it was headed to Mississippi. Great hit for Rachel right there. That one went all the way to the Mississippi for sure. Number 10, designated player, Morgan Johnson. Morgan, Morgan Johnson. Johnson. Jinx. Pinch my family folks. <laughs> she watched it. Ball. Wow, that one had a lot of s slow down speed on it, didn't it? Yep, that one was not yeah. as deadly as two balls. You think? Part dugout is getting quite lively right now. That foul ball. There's nothing like having a foul ball come right where we're sitting right now. See your life almost flash before your eyes. All you can think is just catch it. That's right. It's now two one. One strike, two balls, one out. Runner at first. Go, go, go. Rachel is out at second. Good attempt by Rachel sliding into second right there. Saginaw was able to get it in there on a good field play. Two outs, runner at first. Allie Defoe at the plate. The pitcher, number five, Allie Defoe. She has had a great night so far. Is she going to get the cycle? That's the question. Yeah. I'm thinking good positive vibes here for Allie. Sending good juju her way. Good eye by Allie. Ball outside. Good hit, Allie. Oh, hit. For a single. Great hit by Allie. Right in that gap. Runner on one and two. Two outs. Now to the plate, first baseman, number nine, Abby Stone. Abby Stone. Pinch poke, here we go. See if Abby can bring them on around. Good eye. Pitcher has to pitch a strike first. That's one thing I've noticed about you guys is you got really good eyes on your on your on your bat, and that that, that makes or break the game. Another one high. Yeah, sometimes they can get us with a rise ball. You think it'd be right down the middle and it just curves right up. Get you every time. Got a little piece of that one. Two balls, one strike. Two outs, runners at first and second. Got another piece of that one. Ooh. Ooh. Saginaw catcher tries to throw it. Not quick enough. Morgan got back fast enough on that one. It's a good throw, though. It's a great throw. There's now a full count for Abby. She's really have to battle here. She swings or if it's down the middle. We go back. Foul ball. Ooh. That ball just almost purchased a car. Ooh, yeah. Sticking in there though. <coughs> Come on, Abby. 
look at that sky. It's beautiful. Full count, two outs. Runners at first and second. And Adam hit in the gap. It. Coming around with Morgan scoring. What a great hit. Lady Pirates add one more to the board. Lady Pirates six, Saginaw Rough Riders two, two outs. We've got runners at second and at third. Got Brenna Haynes at the plate. Yes, Brenna Haynes. That is right. She can take all the time that she needs. What great runner positions. A lip back. Straightforward dive. So as a player, Harley, you got a runner at second and third with two outs. With the field layout that you have, what would be your placement hope for your shot? Um, probably right field, because <laughs> it's so far over and it's a longer throw, and it'll guarantee a runner at third. That's a good plan. Quicker. That's or just gap between right and center. Counts one and one right now. Two outs. Runners at second and third. Great eye. It. Lady Pirates really saying they want that perfect pitch. And, and hits it pop. Third out. Caught by right fielder. That'll wrap up our fifth inning. Top of the six coming up. Lady Pirates six. Second on Rough Riders two. We're going to welcome Georgia to help us out with inning number six. Sup, brothers? And I am back. No, y'all missed me. We did. So what's your take on that inning right then, Georgia? I think that was a really good inning. Got two more runs. Absolutely. It's just perfect, perfect, perfect. As long as we can continue to hold them like we're doing, Allie continue to be strong and our fielding strong, should be able to get us a W here. Secure yes. us that playoff position. So if you're just tuning in, thank you for tuning in to Pirate Production Studios. Tonight's game with our own Granberry Pirate softball team against Saginaw Rough Riders. Looking forward, April 19th this week, we have a Alito matchup. And that's not only varsity, but JV this week, right? Yes, it is. Because y'all's game this week was, um, was, I guess, postponed or canceled because of some weather snares or star testing, I think, that yes, happened in sir. Saginaw. So tell me about Alito. Uh, Y'all prepared as JV players? I think we're prepared as we'll ever be. You just got to go out there and give it our all, 100%. Get as much done as we can. Just got to put it to work. Good. Good, good. Still got Ali Defoe controlling that mound out there. Been really strong all night long. Yes, she has. She's been pushing through. Need a three up, three down on this. Smart playing, good pitching. Saginaw comes out with a bunt attempt. Foul ball, strike one. This better wants to keep button. She just gotta keep getting her. Get, Ali just gotta keep making the better lean in. There's so much that goes to throwing the right pitch, right? Yes. It's uh. 
I've tried it before and it's not very good outcomes. <laughs> Pitch number two. Look good for my eyes. Oh, I've called it a ball. A little bit low. Count is one and one. Yes, those pitches are all about release, spin, and speed. Got to have all the right components. Bunt for Saginaw to Alley. Easy out at first. Great throw, accurate throw, and great catch. One out. Keeping it real clean, minimum slip ups. Playing real strong tonight. All of our Pirate players are ready to go. There's a rise outside. Ball. Inside would have been a ball, but she swung. Got her swinging on that one. Got one ball, one strike, one out, and nobody on bag. Ooh, right down the middle. What a great pitch that was. What about Base that speed on that? Oh, wow. It was gorgeous. Basically giving it to her on silver platter. That's it. One ball, two strikes, one out. Just one away from out number two. Got her swinging. That is the second out for this inning. One out closer to lucky number 500. It's crazy how much the pitchers will give you, and then they'll just take it all away. Smart play. Years and years of work, right? Yes, sir. Time and dedication. Got two outs, nobody on base. Ooh. And right center field. And an easy out right there by Brenna. Brenna Haynes. That was one of the quickest innings. That's great. Lady Park's getting prepared to hit some dingers tonight. We're at the bottom of the six. Lady Park six, Saginaw Rough Riders two. Hey Georgia, talk to us about how important academics your academics are playing with sports. Like how important is that focused on by Granberry's athletic department to softball and overall? Which, what do you think about that? In Granberry, you're always a student before you're an athlete. You gotta keep those grades high so you can play even better. Love that. That's, and, um, that's one of my main things. I keep my grades so high, higher than the sky very important right lead by example so uh, that's one thing I've noticed about our softball players JV and our varsity and overall program is just the importance of academics across the board at Granbury ISD it's amazing that that's our focus first and foremost yes and it's not too easy because you can talk about having good grades just it's hard to keep them up that's for sure this inning sponsored by Chicken Express. Thank you, Harley, for my Chicken Express. Beautiful night for softball. Mid-70s. Under the lights, Granbury, Texas. This turned out to be a beautiful night. Got nice weather, cool breeze. The whole shebang. We've got us a new pitcher on the mound for Saginaw right now, number 18. All of our Pirate upcoming hitters are 
getting a free show out there, getting their timing on and watching very closely the new pitcher that's on the mound. Let's see, this pitcher is pretty slow and pretty accurate. High most of the time, so we'll see. She also likes to keep it outside. We are once again back up to the top of the lineup with Presley Carnes, number three. Just a note, I uh, just got word our varsity pirate baseball lost to Saginaw tonight, eight to three is what we're hearing. Good battle guys, good battle. <laughs> Looks like we've got Presley Carnes at the plate, back up to the top. First pitch is a ball. What's up, brother? Got our special guest, Harley Price, back. Get all some technical difficulties. That's fine. Second pitch, a little pretty far out. Great out by Presley, ball two at the bottom of the six. Score is six to two, our Granbury Pirates leading. Another high pitch. You know, in watching the different pitchers, it's amazing for me the different stance that they have. They're just different, I guess you'd call it mechanics. Yeah, different mechanics. The way they do things is different. Their wind up, um, where they hold the ball, it's all different. Got Presley with ball four, making her way to first base. Well, we have Miss Hannah Defoe coming up to the plate next. Saginaw's coach having a little bit more of a conversation at the mound. Is this another pitching change? It is. It appears Saginaw is uh, making another one, yes. That is unfortunate. Is it normal for a pitcher to make a pitching change after one batter? It is very normal. Very normal? Very normal. Okay. What are some of the reasons why somebody would do that? Um. Just probably don't want to risk the game because um, they can absolutely come back and win. They just they want to do that. Smart ball. Yes. So Georgia and I were talking about the importance of academics with softball and all kinds of sports here. What, tell me your opinion on it. It seems like coaches are first and foremost, it's grades and it's, it's academics before. Yes, it's, uh, you, you have to really stay up on your work and be able to balance the life of school and softball because college is definitely gonna be much harder than that. Uh, unfortunately, varsity lost one of their players due to grades, so. You really let your team down whenever you're not able to uphold it. Allie DeFoe, or Hannah, excuse me. She liked that pitch. Fouled it. Presley Carnes on first base, no outs, one strike. Hannah at the plate. <coughs> Got to throw down the second. Safe. Safe at second. Be classified as a stole base. Absolutely. Pirates putting in work tonight. Two strikes. And Hannah.
Hannah liked it. She's Offer hitting it up to the center caught. Solid hit. Just hit it right where that center fielder was. Just gonna have to move. Carl Joe Carlton coming up to the plate. Got runner on second, one out. Carly goes in for a bunt, fouls. <coughs> Strike one. pitch but she swung tell us about how exhausted you become during sixth seventh and inning you know of a game does that become a factor yeah you, you get tired uh, but it's best if you just continue and really work hard and push through so that you're not making mistakes you can't make mistakes, especially mental mistakes like that. So, Carly Joe fouled it, that that ball off too, left field, straighten it out, good base hit. Foul back. It was sticking in there. She's Jeez. battling. Yep. Runner at second, one out, two strikes. Carly Joe giving out lots of foul balls today. Yeah. She is definitely battling. Putting Either. in work. He doesn't swing, he's going to call it anyway. It's a good mind thought process to have. Carly has her whole fan base here, just like all of our pirates. See her brother cheering her on. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss for a strike three. Two outs. Got Karma Williams coming up to the plate. Runner on second. Two outs. Out of the plate, the catcher, number 14, Carmen Williams. A lot of fans cheering for her. Got a good crowd tonight. Lively crowd. Yes. Pirate dugouts also lively. Motivating their team. It's an important game. Good eye. Watch, babe. Low. Got two balls. No strike. Two up. Oh. Strike. Personally, doesn't like it. Uh, Need to get Carmen on base so that Rachel can come in. Who's yeah. on deck right now? We need to. She liked it. She hit it. Pop. Call it by left field. Oh, it's going to end our sixth inning. Come right back at you. Top of the seventh. Lady Pirates six. Second on Rough Riders two. Hey, brothers, I am back again. Hey, Georgia. Welcome back. Hey, so tell us, tell us what a normal week of practice looks like for a Lady Pirates softball player. A uh, regular week of practice? Well, we are 
out here at least two hours a day every week. Except for on Wednesdays, we get out 5.30 early so ladies can go to church. Putting in the work, usually we do half batting, half fielding, varsity separated, we switch on and off. But there's sometimes when we have the group practices, it's real intricate and we all work together seamlessly. Awesome. Hey, tell us about opportunities y'all have had this year to work with the littles, is what I call them, the little upcoming softball players. Y'all ever work with them or have any camps for them uh, during the year or during the summer? During the summer we do, not during the year. Okay. Last game, there was a lot of the littles that were out here. There's quite a few of them. And uh, they look really motivated to want to continue playing in pirate softball. Yes, all of all of us personally in JV, we heard them cheering and just screaming. It was so <laughs> motivating. It was really helpful. That's what it's about right there. It's also really nice seeing them out here supporting us and also learning from JV and varsity as they move up in the softball ladder. That's great. All right. Got Allie back on that mound. This will be her last home pitching game. Strike one. It's got to be an emotional game for her. Yes. It's amazing how how her keeping her composure. She told me before the game that her focus is this game, but going all the way as far as she can. Second pitch. Fouled off her strike two. The feelings are definitely feeling the night. With it being senior night, saw all the setups out front for all of our seniors. Brenna, Allie, and Abby all had setups from all their softball careers. It was really nice to see. And third pitch is a pop up. <laughs> Meredith for the out. You know, sometimes I can predict the future. And right now, I see a lot of tears, especially since it's senior night. A lot of, a lot of girly feelings, you know? And it's an emotional win because they played so well. And uh, this win tonight will clinch us a playoff spot this year. Yes. Hugely yes, important. Will. Preparing us for our upcoming Elite Eight game. That was a low inside for a ball. It's really down to the wire for these pirate ladies. Lady Birds. Hits second. Meredith for the out, throwing it to first. Abby Stone with a nice catch at first. Two outs. One more to go. Replay screen. Nice little choppy hit. Meredith. Right to first. Great play, Pirates. Ooh, hit right to Allie. Right to Allie to Third close out. it out. That's what you want to see right there. As she finishes her last three up, three down. Game. Lady Pirates for the win. Six to two against Saginaw Rough Riders to clinch playoff position. Allie Moving with forward. the last, oh. apologies. Allie with the last out for her la home game. Allie with her last out for her last emotional home game. What a great game by our Lady Pirates. Um, want to thank all of our special guests for tuning in tonight, along with our special guest announcers tonight. 
Sophie, Georgia, and Harley Price. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you. We look forward to future Pirate wins and look forward to y'all continuing to grow as Lady Pirate softball stars. Good night, brothers. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Pirate Production Studios. I want to thank all of the producers and everybody that had a part in this. Next time, send the link to everybody that you know so they can tune in to Pirate Softball moving forward. Next game that we've got is this week. If you missed tonight, it's Alito on the 19th at Alito. Very important game. Alito is going to be a battle game. They are number one right now in our division. But it's not anything we cannot win. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a good evening.